Hi filmmakers, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central. And yet again, another video about the Mavic 3. And this was another requested video to explain how the zoom function works. So we're gonna dig deep into zoom when we come right back. Okay, so let's talk about the zoom on the Mavic 3. And there, again, just like the automatic and pro settings in the cameras uh, that we did yesterday, there is a lot of misunderstanding on how the zoom function works on the Mavic 3. In short, there is no optical zoom, period. So let's just get that out of the way. You have a main camera, that's the four-third sensor that we'll call the primary or the main camera. It is a 1x. There's no zoom on the lens at all. It is what it is. The top camera, that's a smaller half-inch sensor, and that has a lens on it that has seven times optical magnification. I'm not going to, I didn't want to say seven times zoom because that implies that you can go from one to seven times and you, you can't it is seven times period that's it it's a fixed focal length so it is 7x on the lens so how do we get this wide range of zoom that people are talking about all the way from 1 to 28 times well software right it's called digital zoom and i'm not a fan of digital zoom because digital zoom is going to degrade image quality there's just no way around it because you're just cropping in more and more and you're going to run out of data and it's got to make it up or do something to try and enhance that image. It's never going to be as sharp as just optical. So if you just want the best quality out of this system, you're only either going to be in 1x, which is going to be the main camera, or 7x, which is going to be the secondary camera. Anything else is digital zoom. But that being said, there's some cool things that you can do with the zoom and there are some great reasons for having the zoom, such as doing inspection work, scouting out a location, looking for, you know, something that's lost, you know, a lost animal or lost person and being able to really zoom in and see that detail is phenomenal. And the 7X zoom, while it's not as good of a camera as the primary, and today we don't have all the manual controls over it and it doesn't shoot log and you know there's disadvantages of using the camera what you do get is some amazing parallax if you know how to take advantage of that so if you have a really deep background and something in the foreground and you're moving around it that background is going to be appear to be moving a lot faster than the foreground and so there's some really interesting applications in videography when it comes to using the zoom. Okay, how do we use the zoom? Okay, well, we have to first start off by going into explorer mode. And let's see, let me get things started over here. Get back to the fly app. Okay, to use the zoom function, we need to go in explorer mode. And that's the little binocular looking icon up here. Okay, now we've turned it on. Explorer mode enabled, 28 times zoom supported. Okay, underneath those binoculars, we have our zoom controls. So if we just tap on it, and there's really three different ways of using the zoom that we're gonna talk about. So if we just tap on it, it's gonna go to one times to two times, now that's two times opt or two times digital on the main sensor. Tap it again. We're at 4x. Again, that's four times digital on the main sensor. Let's hit it again. We go to seven times. It's now switched to the other camera. So this is the native zoom on the secondary camera. Tap it again. We go to 14 times. Now we're doubling that up on digital zoom on the secondary camera. One more time is gonna give us 28 times zoom. And now I'm just in my studio, so the images aren't gonna be that good, but we'll go outside and we'll fly this and we can see you know, how this is actually gonna look. 
Okay, tap it one more time, we're back to 1x. So that's one way of controlling the zoom, is just tapping on that, that icon there. Okay, let's look at another way. Hold it down. Okay, now when we hold it down, we have a slider that will allow us to slide between all of them. And again, you know, once we hit 7x, we're gonna be in the secondary camera at its primary, or, you know, we can go down to 1x and anywhere in between. So this gives us a lot of control over the in-between settings than those set ones that are uh, you get to just by tapping on it. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to our 1x. So that's the second way. So the first way is just tapping on it. The second way is holding it and getting the slider. And then there's a third way of doing the zoom. And that's gonna be to hold down the function key on the remote while controlling the wheel. So now if I do that, if I hit the function key and I turn the wheel, now we get a pretty smooth zoom. Let me zoom out. I don't know what I'm pointing at now. Let's try. <laughs> okay. Two, three, three and a half, eight, ten, twelve. So it is a pretty smooth zoom. Let's try doing it really slow back and out. And then it'll get to seven. And there, after seven, there was that big jump from seven to four. So that's really its weak spot right there is between that four and seven where it jumps to the other camera. So let's watch it real slow here. Boom, from four to seven, there's that big jump. So if you're trying to do a really long shot like a dolly zoom and you're gonna move between four and seven, there's going to be that big jump right there. So it's just something to be aware of in how you plan your shots if you're using a controlled zoom. So that was the third way that we control the zoom function on the Mavic 3. So we can tap on the icon, we can hold on the icon and slide it, or we can hold down the function button and use the gimbal wheel. So that's our three ways. So I hope this answered the question that was posed about please explain how the zoom functions work. I really appreciate the questions and I do my best to get an answer out to you as quickly as possible because I know there's a ton of interest in the Mavic 3 and because of the way it's designed with some of the features, it can be a bit confusing and I wanna try and dispel as much of that as possible so that you can make the right purchase decision for yourself or if you've already bought it, help you make the most out of using the Mavic 3. I'm a huge fan and um, yeah, but now I'm gonna go outside and we'll get some footage and actually uh, put the zoom to the test in more of a real world environment. And uh, I'll just include that, that footage here. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.